have to say I wish I weren't quite in this position, but certain things have happened. Um, the astute among you might have a number of questions, like what are we doing in a Type 7C U-boat in France in 1941 in a different flotilla? I have been asking myself these questions ever since Operation Screw-Up, aka my attempt to use Silent Hunter 3 Commander to edit an existing save file so that I might be able to advance the time a little bit so we could begin our next patrol in, say, March of 1940, just to get us through the early war period somewhat quickly and into the more challenging periods, and also I was doing some fiddling with the mods in order to get rid of some memory-related crashing issues, and in the fog of all of this, I managed to delete that save file quite accidentally. And as a result of my incompetence, your dear Captain Hans Kartoffel was found to be unworthy of command of a frontline U-boat, and was sent off to a training school to deal with the poxy cadets for a while, and now that the Battle of the Atlantic is starting to heat up in the spring of 1941, he has, uh, despite what the Navy would like, been recalled back to service and been given a new boat. In this case, as you can see, U-94 A7C with the 7th Flotilla in uh, Saint-Nazaire here. Forgive my Alberta French. And so, yeah, that's that's how it's going to have to work, I'm afraid. That's what I decided to go with in order to be able to continue this career as seamlessly as possible, but still also facilitate doing some things that I wanted to do with it, if that makes sense. So, what we have is an assignment to proceed to grid... I turn that early. Yes. To proceed to grid BE62, which is over here, which we are going to do for a little while. But I think once we've completed our obligations there, I'm going to head a little bit further west into the more central BE quadrants, where these Liverpool Gibraltar convoys heading into the Mediterranean uh, would be going, or possibly even further west for the Liverpool Freetown convoys that would be passing through the western-ish quadrants of BE. So that's pretty much the plan, and I do apologize profusely for having this be the state of affairs that we're in, but I'm afraid it is what it is, and we're just gonna have to roll with it. The only other immediate item that I wanted to mention, though, was that if a person is put into the sort of situation that a number of us are these days of being, well, in light of world events, being, thank you so much for interrupting, in light of recent events, perhaps finding themselves being bottled up inside a little bit more often and leaning on YouTube com content of various types as a source of entertainment, then I think I would be, well, it would be amiss of me not to make a few recommendations for other people you could conceivably watch to see similar content. And the first of which I would point out would be Wolfpack345, who, well, let's face it, if you know about me, you probably already know by, about him, but just in case you don't, he's got an ongoing Silent Hunter 3 career, in addition to some that he's done in the past, also a Silent Hunter 4 one that he's done in the past, and some IL-2 stuff currently ongoing. Well worth watching, and indeed much better than anything I would be capable of producing, if I do say so. Well, I do say so. Uh, my other recommendation at this time would be a smaller channel you might not have heard of by the name of Kairos, capital K, lowercase a-i-r-o, capital S, underscore, who has fewer subscribers than I do, but seems to get a few more views now and then, but at any rate, if, if, if I could do any good by redirecting traffic, uh, his way, I'm more than happy to, so those are my recommendations, I would say, at this time, in the way of uh, similar content for your viewing pleasure. It's always sounded like kind of a strange thing to say to me, but 
I should probably shut up and carry on towards our objective. Oh, and for those of you who might have been panicking, I have indeed noticed in time to alter course before we run into our own minefields. Uh, yeah. So, don't worry about that. Howdy, lads. Good hunting. Ah! Merchant spotted. I was just listening to some mushy music on the gramophone, and I really wasn't expecting this until we were a little further west, but let's dive to Periscope depth immediately, because the weather is really nice, and it's possible that they'll see us not long after we see them. Uh, hands to action stations. Ship spotted bearing zero four six. Well, you've got better eyes than I, Gungadine. Oh no, I see it actually. Ha! Ah, we're not at a great angle if we want to actually overtake that. Oh, it's heading north. Uh, let's let's grab a little. Let's put down some markers so I can draw a course line on this. We'll see what we can do about getting ahead of it. Just a second here. Come on, let me zoom. Oh, I completely... Oh, that's not my ruler. Haha. What do you mean there's a hydrophone contact beyond that? Well, on the bright side, it is getting dark. So I could conceivably get closer to this ship once it is dark, if need be. Where'd it go? But the water is absolutely placid at the moment, which is actually not very helpful for these purposes. Yeah, we're not going to keep up with that doing three knots ahead standing. Maybe at six knots, though. Except then we won't be able to hear them on the hydrophone. Or see them through the scope, I bet. Nope. Constant distance, 285. Well, at least we know where they're going. And I can potentially maneuver away a little bit and try to get in front of that ship. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. We'll alter course a little bit. Then, once we're out of visual range, we'll surface and run like hell. How's the... That's still pretty light, though. Where is it? 269. Let's have a look. Mm. The sea is so calm that she may actually see us if I surface right now. So let's run for just a little bit, and then we'll... That should be fine. 242... Uh, 242 Squadron, yes. That's a good omen, right? Okay, I don't think she's going to see us at this point. Surface! Still at action stations. Yes. Come on, get on the surface. Okay, I was trying to be careful, but... This wouldn't be one of my careers if I didn't manage to cook one of my engines by running it ahead flank for just a little bit too long. So, surface, attack, yeah, give me damage control. 
Unfortunately, we're going to have to slow down, but I think we might have gotten far enough ahead of this ship. We'll see. We're going way faster at any rate. Uh, do I have to be... What speed do I have to be at in order to not do any more damage is my question. Can I do a head standard? I think I can. Well, we'll see. Ooh, and in the midst of trying to set up this attack, we get a radio message saying that there's been a pro-German coup in Iraq. Great. Which means that the Brits are about to invade it and kick the pro-German people out. But, yeah. Little footnote of the war, but not really a priority right now. Okay. Well, at least our engine damage was not in vain. If you can hear that, I'm not sure. But uh, we picked them up again. And they seem to be still roughly along that same course line, which is perfect. So I'm going to do what I can to set up for an attack. Which means we're going to turn a little bit. Ooh, not go that fast, though. And move slightly so as to get a little bit closer to her projected course. Ah. And try to be nice and... Square with said projected course, be at a nice 90 degree angle and all that. Uh, which will require some slight adjustment. There we go, that should about do it. Should be good enough anyway. And we'll slow to stop. Let her get a little closer. Okay, a lot closer. And Put the scope up. See anything yet? Should be out that way-ish. Not yet. But I'm sure we will pretty soon. Let's run that ahead just a little further. Hmm, might be a little further out than I had... Uh, Anticipated, but no matter. Can make any corrections we might need to. That ship is so slow. It's got to be. So it's not doing any kind of evasive maneuver, is it? Starboard diesel engine ready. Great. In that case, keep us in submerged attack sort of posture. Hmm. Still don't see anything, but I imagine she'll come into view soon enough. Keep coming. Let's run ahead a little bit. If she is a little further away. There we go. Target in sight. Let's uh, see if we can draw a new course line. Yep, there she is. I think that's just going to be a tramp steamer. But, still worth sinking, so we'll whack it in. And uh, try not to screw up anything nice and simple like this. Yeah, with the masts like, well... Mm, maybe, maybe not. We might have to let her get closer to see for sure. But let's draw my line. to sneeze and I don't have a mute key set up. Unprofessional! <gasps> well, if there was a destroyer around, I'm sure they would have heard that, so that would be horrible. How far out are we from that course line? 700 meters is pretty much perfect, so I'll just keep us here. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a tramp steamer, but still, just shy of 2,000 tons is nothing to sneeze at. That being said, in terms of weapons, I think I might use a, hmm, should I use a Type 1 or Type 2 torpedo? 
The weather is very calm, so they might spot a Type 1, but then again, by the time they do, it'll probably be too late. And we have more Type 1s, so I feel like flinging them off at uh, targets where it's not quite as important whether they see them or not is maybe something, so... Yeah, I think Tube 2 is what's going to get used here, but we will use a Magnetic Pistol. Set for 7 meters. Well, maybe we shouldn't, actually, because what if it runs deep? Hmm, that could still be a problem. Maybe I should set it super shallow since the weather's so nice. Yeah. We'll do an impact, set it 2 meters, and it shouldn't breach on this glassy water. So, I think we've determined beyond a shadow of a doubt what that is, so we'll put the book away. And I will time it crosses, as it crosses the reticle to try and get a speed. Actually, I need the book again, because I need to know how long it is. 78.5 meters. We don't have a wiggly wheel for that, so we might have to either BS it or use the... Um, ah! Ah! Give me this thing. Yeah, might have to use this, the spinny wheels of doom. The analog computer, as it were. Well, that is what it is. Ah, and that ship does have a gun, so we could not simply have attacked it with the deck gun uh, with impunity which is kind of a helpful thing. So, chronometer, if it were 100 meters long, that would put its, its um, speed, that's the word I'm looking for, at five knots. But because it's shorter and because we have time, I'm gonna use this thing since I think I remember how to use it. Yeah. 78.5 meters will be about here. Or no, ship length is on the other one. He says he remembers how to do it. How many seconds? 39 seconds. Uh, against a ship length of 78 and a half. Gives us a speed of, is it this one or this one? Uh -huh. I totally remember how to use this. I, I'm a little bit more willing to believe the uh, four and a half knot figure, because no ship is doing two. So yeah, we'll whack in four and a half knots. He's going so slow, it's probably not going to matter too much, but at any rate. And since we're reasonably square with the ship, I'll do my old uh, gyro angle. Not gyro angle, angle on bow thing. It's a little bit late. Um, for that, 60 degrees, that'll do. And we'll grab a range reading. 900 meters, sure. We'll take another one right before we shoot, just for the sake of completeness, even though the range figure is the least important of the three. We'll let the gyro angle come down. There we go. Gyro angle coming down, we'll take one last range reading, and then we should be ready to shoot. 785 meters. Yeah. We'll even call it 750, because why not? Open tube two. Gyro angle zero. Tube two. Fire! And we should be able to see the torpedo wake. Yes. Well, let's see how that goes. If I were being disciplined, I would put the scope down, but I'd rather gawk. Ooh, here it goes. I think that's gonna hit right where I aimed it. Oh, slightly ahead. How slovenly of me. Ooh, the lights are on! And the gun's coming around. Okay, well, if she's not... Ah! Take her down! I don't panic under pressure. Let no one say that. I don't think that ship's gonna survive that, but if it's gonna survive for a little bit and potentially shoot at us, I'm not taking any risks. But we will have a look. I'll snoop. Ah! And we'll reduce speed so we can actually see. There we go. 
I don't think a ship that small is going to be able to survive something like that. Not for very long, at the very least. He says, is, she, is her prop still turning? Yeah, which is a bit surprising. I guess we did hit it ahead of the engine room, most likely, so it's not impossible. didn't bother doing silent running because it is only a merchant, so crew will be reloading that torpedo. I will be severely disappointed and very surprised if we end up having to fire another one, though, so... Yeah. At any rate, we... If she doesn't sink right away, we'll shadow her for a little bit and see what happens. Well, it took a little while, but the tramp steamer ate it. She is going down. It took about half an hour in the end, but... This, uh, well, patience is a virtue, I guess, in this case. A virtue I very seldom possess, but in this case I did. Everything went really well. This attack was almost relaxing, he says, and then a destroyer runs across him, because luck. But let's be, let's be morbid and watch the ship die. Hey, the fire went out. Oh yeah. Water is coming onto the forward deck. Well, that means she's probably just about had it. Almost always. A person can get uh, a little bit morbid about this type of thing, but there you go. Yeah. Come on. Eat that water. It's just occurred to me that with the way YouTube tends to treat Silent Hunter content, it's a distinct possibility that this is all this has all been very dark, but we'll see. It seems like that's been less of a problem when I recorded it with OBS. But who knows? Sink! Sink! Uh, let's have a look at the log entry. Tramp steamer, 1964 tons. Ready to go. Yep. Is there anything more? Oh yeah. She'll she'll be making her plunge shortly. Well, for the sake of humanity, we can at least hope that the crew had plenty of time to get off of it. I don't have any of the mods installed which have lifeboats, unfortunately. I'm once I have a stable mod set up, I'm a little bit ill inclined to go poking at it, even though certain Aesthetic things like that wouldn't be so bad to have. Maybe in future. Maybe for the next patrol I'll uh, dare to poke around with that sort of thing again. But I'm a little gum-shy about it at this point, given what's happened. That's about it, I'm going to say. see it a little better here. Oh my. There go the boilers. Thank you, Discord. Thank you so much. I don't know if you actually would have heard that or not. Whether this records directly from Silent Hunter 3 or my system sounds. Well. Our first blood for patrol number three, I guess. Down she goes. Esta Seewache sich klar machen. 